All right, gamers, we are back in the Binding of Isaac. We've got ourselves some fresh, hot new mods, some fresh, hot new music, and a little Capricorn item to start off with. So I'm trying to unlock Eve today, uh, which requires that I do not pick up hearts for two floors. I'm thinking what I'm going to try to do is get myself a little soul heart, uh, and then we will go from there. Now, I am playing as the Kaniac, the absolute legend, the absolute monster of a man himself. He's probably my favorite character. Uh, he's got a lot of little benefits to him, like having a soft uh, PhD where he, you don't get like super bad pills. He's speedy. He doesn't start with like, you know, negative stats or anything. He's just kind of a cool little dude to play, especially when you can start with Capricorn. What a great first item to see. Now, as far as mods I installed, it's mostly quality of life and visual stuff. I did add new music as well. So hopefully there's gonna be some exciting stuff in here. Yeah, and you'll see at the bottom there, I do actually have the jukebox mod that shows you what type of music is playing. I've got the damage multiplier mod that shows you what multipliers you have. Capricorn, I'm realizing a much stronger item than I ever realized with all of these freaking stats to get right off the bat nothing else i can really do right now so let's fight the duke himself so as i speak it is monday and i was lucky enough enough to have the day off so i wanted to do a little bit of recording do a little bit of improvement to the setup and to the game that's why we've got our mods going now almost just picked up that heart Ooh, pentagram thank you very much i will take that see what's in our chest room here Ooh, some chests. No surprise there, right? There is a nice soul heart on the floor, so I would like to pick that up, but I don't think that I'm going to have the ability to if I want to unlock Eve, which I do. This kind of room is the kind that could get me hit as well. The guy's charging at you. You just never expect them to be as speedy as they actually are. And then they're bleeding bodies spewing a random shot everywhere. It's so easy to catch strays. Treasure room? Chemical peel is definitely not bad. We'll go ahead and take that. See if we can't find our boss here relatively quickly. I do see a tinted rock here. Don't know if I want to use my bomb on that or on the shopkeeper just yet. Oh, there's another tinted rock. This is my opportunity though to go ahead and get the character unlock that I'm looking for. I think I just have to beat this boss without picking up a heart, right? And it'll give it to me. If I can beat the boss at all, the yellow ones are just so much faster. No, I must have to actually go to the next floor. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and do it. And there it is, we've got Eve unlocked. So now we're just gonna go ahead and try and clear out the run here. I am gonna go ahead and drop the demon's tail just so I can get some red hearts, but I will be back for it. I definitely want the dark hearts, but I wanna have myself at least a couple more red heart healage first. Another constellation item is kind of interesting to see. Uh, more fire rate, more tier size, and a little tier knockback. You really can't be too upset about that. Pisces in combination with Capricorn, kinda cool. I gotta say, we're already looking pretty strong for clearing out this floor here. If uh, if I can get this run to the dark room, I think I would be very, very satisfied with that. That extra knockback coming in extra handy versus these enemies that pretty much just wanna do contact damage to me. We've got enough cash to pop into the shop, see if there's anything good. Now, notched ax, we're gonna go ahead and do that. I, I genuinely love the pickaxe item, it's too good. I do wish I could get into that cursed room for free, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. Instant guess on my super secret room. Gotta appreciate that. Get some coinage, a bomb, and we're on to the boss. Little Mega Maw activity. Nothing too bad. Nothing we can't handle. Kill his little dude that he spawns before those become a nuisance. That's the biggest thing with Mega Maw is just not letting him overwhelm the screen. Also, he's not using any psychic attacks, which I'm a little surprised by. Got me a screw, which is amazing. Got me a dark heart. I am going to go ahead and try and get angel deals this run, though, because I haven't done it yet on the channel, and I would like to go up. Uh, I was just on a call with Aloe, who is editing the Judas video currently, which is going to come out soon, I promise. Uh, and he was letting me know that I basically spent a minute straight just talking about how much I hate spiders and how I have a garage full of them. You, you talk about what you know, you know? And my life involves spiders, apparently. Let's see what's in our dice room here. Anything good? Rerolls all pickups in the room. I will take the pearls for a little bit more deal protection. Oh, interesting. We got Mom's Pearl and Mom's Pearl. Mom's Pearl's the item and Mom's Pearl the trinket. Still haven't found my treasure room. Gonna keep searching for that, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> lo and behold, there it is. Belly button's kind of cool. Let's me carry two trinkets. And I think I've got Mom's Pearl up there, right? 
So I feel like we're going to go ahead and take Mom's Pearl, and that way we can still get Red Hearts if we need them. I do like the Devil's Tail, but I'm just not feeling as strong about it as I would like to. I'm going to go ahead and go to the boss here. I don't think there's necessarily any reason to keep clearing this floor out. Little peep action, little peep activity. This guy is definitely sort of a skill check boss. I feel like if you're just getting into Isaac and you are not used to dodging and learning patterns, this guy's going to surprise you, especially because he gets harder as the fight goes on by spawning those eyes out of him that float around the room. I've fought him a whole bunch and he still gets me every once in a while. Biggest thing with Isaac bosses I find is to not be too greedy. They give you plenty of opportunities to attack. Hell yeah, little angel deal. Let's pop in there. Heaven, yeah, as I should say. And Breath of Life, probably the absolute last item I ever wanted to see in here right now that is deeply disappointing. And with that, we're going to go to the next floor. All right, we're in the depths. Got an even chance for devil and angel deals. I am going to go ahead and play out this challenge room. And I'm having flashbacks to the Maggie video right now. These brains are the reason that I could not win that first run. Go ahead and watch that video if you haven't already. I think that even though it was a little bit of a disappointment to have one of the runs end, I still got back and beat Mom's Heart. And I think yeah, you all might like to see that. Cleared out our room no problemo there, and we're going to keep on keeping on. Maybe I'll go check out my cursed room. I feel like there could be something kind of kind of nice in there. Red heart. Oh, Guppy's tail. Now I kind of wish I still had the devil's tail for the keys, but you know what? We're going to take it. I do want to make sure I'm checking for secret rooms as I can be. Sackhead is super good. I would love to have it, but I don't have flight currently. Is the hanged mana card you have to unlock? I, I am so unknowledgeable about the unlocks in this game, basically after, oh God, honestly, after Rebirth. There was a point in time where I knew most of the major unlocks by heart. I had one of those brains that basically I would start a playing a game and then I would want to know every single thing about it until I just had categorical memory of everything. And then you just, it's just not possible for the human brain to store that much information and keep it. We're going to find that there's going to come a point relatively quickly as we continue playing this game for the channel that uh, I stop having knowledge of a lot of things in this game after Afterbirth. When Afterbirth came out, uh, I was so excited for it, played a bunch of it in college, and then I stopped. And when Afterbirth Plus came out, I think I might have gotten it, but I don't think I actually played any of it. Ooh, a drowsy pill? Okay, having an I'm drowsy pill in the pool is insanely good. Uh, I don't want Black Tooth more than either of these trinkets. However, I'm going to pick it up for the boss fight and then come back and get my lucky rock. Let's see who we have for the boss. Oh, Monstro 2. That's no problemo. We should be able to no-hit him without any worries. Oh, I almost got hit, though. I almost got skill-checked so hard just then. I do have a ton of bombage. I, my pickup situation is looking really, really good. Ah, uh, devil deal. Not really what I'm looking for. I want to try and make sure I'm getting angel deals, so I don't want to lock into that. So we'll just keep on keeping on here, I think. We must stay true to the angels, gamers. Whether they be Charlie's angels or Odd's angels, we must stay true to our beliefs. Did just take a stupid pot shot there. These guys are the ones that, that trip me up all the time. Forgot to go get my lucky rock back. That's unfortunate. But Black Tooth is going to give us a little bit of extra combat power. So I'm not too upset about that. And I think 27 cents going into one of the last floors with shops is not going to be too upsetting. A little more speed up yet. I'm about to be the fastest boy in the whole entire video game here. They've never seen a guy this fast. They've never seen a cane this speedy. The poop rooms are always kind of funny to me, like especially when they spawn with other creatures. Uh, I think a couple videos ago, or maybe last video, I'm not sure, we had a room that was basically just a fatty and then a bunch of poop. And you just have to think to yourself, like, he he, he's he's stinky. He's been stuck here being stinky. That's funny. Oh, Monstro's Lung. With my tier rate being the way it is, I don't really want this item, but I think it's so flashy and cool. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Hmm. Doubles trinket effects. Yeah, we're going to take that. I think just having the pearl effect doubled is going to be really useful because hopefully that means we're going to spawn some more soul hearts. Come on, restock machine. Give me something good here. I will take a soul heart just to protect my deal chance if I can. And we might come back if we get some more money. Definitely wishing I had my lucky rock right now. Come here, ma'am. Oh, does something, does something wrong actually slow her down? 
What was that knockback? Something just launched me across the freaking room just then. All right, looking really strong now. Probably should have explored this floor some more, but hey. I'm just a gamer. I may not be a good gamer, but I am a gamer. Oh, you know what it is. We always take the double chests in challenge rooms. If it's two gold chests, the possibilities are endless. That is something I believe from the bottom of my belly, the absolute bottom of my existence, the stars are calling. Did I just unlock uh, planetariums? If I just unlock planetariums, that would be sick. There we go. And we got a third gold chest for it. Come on now. Can't be upset about that. Take some crack jacks. Look at all the trinkets we're getting. This is a super trinket kind of run. What did I just do? What is this? Oh no. Okay, clicking clicking in your stick gives you mod menu. Good to know. So do y'all know what I have to do to unlock Hush? I have never looked into this because I did it when Hush was brand new, beat Hush, and then I think that might be when I stopped playing the game. Oh, a tinted rock. I've got this floor and then I've got one more before I... Oh, school bag, sick. So I've got this floor and one more floor before I have the chance to go up. So I want to make sure that my angel deals are pretty much guaranteed before I get to the next floor. Oh my gosh, that was too close. I, I actually clenched you know what so hard in that room just then. Gotta kind of stutter step these guys a little bit. Oh god, no, my deal chance. I honestly hate the eye lasers. I don't think I've met a single person that loves the eye lasers. They're kind of just the worst. This is looking like a potential super secret room. Oh, he's right. Give me something. Oh, no. Ooh, drowsy pill going to be really nice. Pheromones could be good too, but we're just going to hang on to the drowsy pill. All right, let's see who we get. Mama Gertie. Uh-oh. Should I use the drowsy on this? Or should I save it for... Oh, that's cheap as... Whoa! Okay, have not fought this boss too much. Gonna be watching the floor now. Oh. All right, that took me by surprise a couple different times, but that's okay. And yeah, we're gonna save I'm Drowsy for Mom's Heart, and we're gonna keep moving. The last floor of the run. Let's see if we can't just clear this out for good time's sake. This room is a bit of a stinky one. Just trying to approach safely is, is proving to be a bit of a challenge. Woof, there we go. Here's a question for you. For Isaac... Are you a D-pad or a controller gamer, or do you use keyboard? Picking up a coin has a 25% chance to spawn a key. I am good. I'm feeling like the boss is going to be straight up from here. Mm, yep, I had a feeling I was going to get hit just then. Oh, man. Not like this, Odd. Not like this, Odd. Let's just finish out the run, man. You, you've been playing this game way too long to be getting surprised by these rooms still. All right, there we go. There is a mod you can get that guarantees you'll be able to move on to advanced floors. And I'm tempted to get it because I've played this game enough that I don't personally feel like I need to do it naturally. Okay, having the Joker card is super duper good here. I don't feel like I necessarily need to do it naturally, but I also don't want to let y'all down, you know? I feel like if y'all want to see the actual natural runs, I don't want to deprive anybody of that, if you if you feel me. All right, instantly paid out with Skatol. Not what I was hoping for, to be completely honest with you. Does the mom's heart room let you back out? I want the I'm drowsy pill, but just in case it doesn't, I'm just going to go ahead and bring Joker in here. All right, turbo gamer mode. Got to focus up a touch. It won't be so bad if we hit all of our shots, but... Oh, no. This might be it for me, gamers. Mm, oh, we made it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and it would have let me back out anyway. I should have just got I'm drowsy. Okay, we're going to use the Joker to keep moving. It is unfortunately downwards, though. I was really hoping for an angel deal, but you know what? Never hurts to take out Satan another time. Let's go. We need to work toward the negative anyway. All right, we are now in Shoal. Shoal sometimes feels easier than the womb. Definitely, definitely crazy to say as I just got blasted by that eye laser literally twice. But hey, maybe we get lucky and spawn some hearts, right? Look at that. Thank you, game. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Consolation prize, thank you. Plus one, two. Is that range or is that fire rate? Oh, that's fire rate. Oh, yeah, we're feeling a little bit better now. All right, boner lords. 
Now, I don't know the true name of these ones, but Boner Lord seems very apt. One could say I could just call them Bone Lords, but where would be the fun in that? Give me some red hearts. Okay. Ooh, supper, actually. I, I will take that. Give me a little health up and a little health back. You really can't be too mad there. I always appreciate a room that has the eye lasers, but it points me straight out the eye lasers when I come in, so I can kill it instantly without being afraid for my life. I do not like Shoal and the Dark Room for one reason, and it's that I cannot actually see spiders. <laughs> it might be my monitor. I might need to calibrate my monitor settings a little bit, but it's just impo literally impossible to see them on my screen. I think part of it too is I've got these stream lights on, Basically, all I can see is their little red flashes, like, right when they move. Otherwise, I can't see them at all. Oh, I forgot I have the thing where when I spend a key, I get a heart. That's pretty awesome. No, 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 no. You're f***ing cheating. Stop. The game just decided it was time to cheat. I, that's actually crazy to me. I actually do not mind that Guppy's tail is spawning so many chests for me because I'm using it as a means to heal. So if any of you are also YouTubers, let me know in the comments. I have a, a question for you. Do you go back and watch your gameplay? Because I did that with one of my most recent videos and I was like, normally I hate this. I've, I've done it in the past. Like I can't watch my old streams. There's just, I can't sit through it. But my old, but these videos lately, I've been, I've been kind of watching them through when I get a second and I've been decently satisfied with what I've made. I'm always finding new stuff to improve on, like certain edits I could make or certain things I could say during the runs. But yeah, this this whole watching my own videos thing is, is very new to me. All right, here's our boss. Let's see what we can accomplish. Come here, Satan. One, two, three. Nice. That was probably the best start that I've done yet. One, two, three. I also love how much shot knockback I have. Whoa! Okay, wait, I like it less. He's teleporting. Oh my god. Satan's already hard enough to deal with. Why is he teleporting? I forgot to give myself the Empress, so we're going to use that now. Make this clear out a little bit faster. Whoa, the music is popping off. Oh, he stepped on my bomb? That's kind of actually huge. I, I... Wait, is that a strat? Does he just by default want to step on bombs? Ladies and gentlemen, I will take that. What a clean end to a clean run. All right, Isaac, what did we unlock this time, gamer boy? I know with a couple more runs, we'll unlock the negative though, right? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. And I do want to say really quickly, I'm going to put a link to the Discord in below. We do have a Discord. It's called Oddworld. A lot of really friendly people in there. I'm thinking I'm going to do a stream again soon. And if you'd like to see that, you better get in there so you don't miss out. Other than that, thanks for watching. Much love. Like and subscribe. I still don't know how to end these. Bye.